Hello and welcome to our video today. It's the end of a busy week in the online marketing world. Today we're going to be talking about the Google Hummingbird update. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Yeah, good morning, Chad. What, what a week we're having here in internet marketing. It just uh, The news is coming fast and furious. And I guess, first of all, happy birthday to Google. Google is 15 years old today. It's hard to believe it. You know, love them or hate them, there's a whole industry built around them, and we're part of that. So I guess acknowledgement to a, a solid business well-built, skyrocketing to the top. But today's hot news, of course, is the Hummingbird Algo update. There's a new algorithm that was acknowledged late last night. I think this news was breaking about 5.30 uh, Pacific time. Uh, I know Danny Sullivan was blogging about it, talking about Google Hummingbird. And as with always, big algorithmic moves, people track these very closely. This one actually came out somewhere about three to four weeks ago. So we're talking about the last week in August, maybe spilling into the very first week in September. Um, and Hummingbird is the nickname that's been assigned to this update. It's a big one. And this is breaking news. 90% um, of searches impacted. Uh, by comparison, that's much higher than most of the algo updates we see from Google. Often they're talking three, five, seven percent of searches update updated. We haven't seen this kind of mass algo update since caffeine in 2010, so that's three years ago. So this is absolutely big news. People will be seeking information. It's just breaking. Even though the update was pushed out a month ago, the leak or the announcement has just come out, and I know people. First thing, always want to know, Chad, so what is this doing to my rankings? Do I need to be scared? How do I react? Well, as you said, Adam, this did roll out three to four weeks ago. So you want to go back and pull up Google Analytics and look at the end of August and compare sort of the end of August um, to the beginning of September and look at, did you see a, a drop in, in traffic around that time from organic sources? Um, so that's really the answer to the question. If you're, if you're everything, if nothing's unchanged since the end of August, then Hummingbird's already in play. If you saw a drop, you need to look at that drop and kind of figure out what's happened. So take a look at that, and that should answer the question. Right, and a lot of people are asking just what is the impact of this, and you know, is Panda and Penguin, which we've been talking about, of course, all summer and even uh, last year, are those dead? And the answer to that seems to be no, not entirely. They they are using elements that they learned through Panda and Penguin in this new Hummingbird update. But Danny Sullivan is comparing this change to you know, having a car that you might replace the engine on, which is what some of the previous algos were, versus having a whole new car. And that is kind of what we're seeing with this update. Now, I know the you know, blogosphere always lights up every time there's some big move by Google saying, okay, this is it. SEO is dead. Uh, you know, long live SEO. Uh, what, what is our opinion on that? I know Danny Sullivan saying, no, no, it's never dead. But what's our take on that from the HubShout? Yeah, well, I like I like Danny Sullivan's sort of um, analogy there of the engine versus the whole car. So if you think back to caffeine, caffeine was all about how quickly Google could index the web and get some. They were really faced with how do we get more real time because there was more news. Social media was coming out, so they really needed to figure out how do we get information into our search results quicker. This sounds like really is moving more towards trying to answer questions in a different way, not being so focused on just the words on the page. I think those factors, as you said, Adam, are still in there. Everything that, that used to be in the algorithm is still in there. It's just a different uh, recipe. So I think in the end, is SEO dead? Absolutely not. Anytime anyone's ever brought that up, um, we know it's not dead. If, if SEO is dead, then Google would be, we wouldn't be using search engine anymore. And I think all the data shows that searches are going up, especially as we move to mobile devices and other ways of, of asking questions. So absolutely not, um, SEO is not dead. Right, and the other hot questions out there is, is this mean PageRank has finally been retired? Most people say no. Uh, it's still in the algorithm, but it's one of nearly 200 factors, along with anchor text, which is still important, and the keywords used, of course, on the page. So, you know, I know this is very confusing for folks, and people are probably seeking absolute certainty on what does this Google Hummingbird update really mean to me. As Chad said, first, analyze your traffic and analytics for that last week in August and into that first week of September. Uh, if you do see a drop, then things get kind of confusing because Google, of course, times these algorithmic updates with a lot of other things they're doing. There's been a lot of chatter this week about a large blog network that was taken down by Google's web spam team. There's been a lot of discussion about unnatural link warnings out there. All of that timed around what now we know three and a half, four weeks ago was a major change to the core mathematics behind who's ranking. So that does make it very confusing. So I think you know you could spend all your time fretting about that. 
or you can turn your attention to real SEO because the guidelines from Google about what you should be doing to promote your website, to earn attention, earn buzz, ultimately earn backlinks is still the same. High quality content, uh, good, clean promotion, try to get out there where the discussions are happening. We want to hear your ideas though too. Please subscribe to us and share your thoughts.